beginning, we will import our new fog sprite and two scripts, add a mill visibility and visibility for our field of view. Links down below in the description. Once imported, move the fog sprite to the resources folder and the scripts to the scripts folder. Open our resources folder and add the fog sprite to our traditional roguelike palette by repeating the steps from part two, giving us a new fog tile asset to work with. Now opening the scripts folder, we will create two new scripts, tile data to store our state information and Greasenham line, the reason behind why soon. Create a folder called algorithms and place Adam Mill visibility, visibility and Greasenham line into it before opening tile data. With tile data open, remove mono behavior and the start and update methods. Add two Boolean variables called is explored and is visible. Followed by adding a system.serializable within square brackets so we can see the class in the inspector. And head over to procgen. Starting from the top, I notice a few unnecessary references to Map Manager in lines 52 and 60, as we already passed in the lists of rooms to be used in our generate dungeon method, so change them to use that instead. Next, copy lines 43 to 47 before scrolling down to set wall tile if empty. We will then create a private void method called setFloorTile, which takes in a vector3int named pos and paste our code into it before exchanging our new vector3int for pos, doing the same for our setWallTile with empty method just to be consistent. Now let's implement our new method, changing lines 43 to 47 to set floor tile, new vector three int, passing in X and Y. And then changing lines 91 to 97 to set floor tile, new vector three and passing in the tunnel coordinates You may notice me removing zeros. This is due to there being no requirement for it when creating new vector three ints. Finally, add a dot compute to our Breesenham line calls before cutting the entirety of our Breesenham line method and opening the Breesenham line class. Removing the model behavior and the start and update methods, add static to our class declaration. Now paste in the code we cut and do the following. Add static to the methods declaration. Change private to public. Its name to compute. Then change its parameters to start, end and coords using change all occurrences. I hope you all have been saving because now we're going to make a short stop at game manager. Here we're just going to add a getter method for our entities list before moving to map manager. Remove the colors due to a last minute decision on my part. Then add a tile base called fog tile and tile map called fog map. These will be used for our fog of war for adding a new list of type vector three int called visible tiles and initialize it. We will also create a dictionary called tiles, its key being vector3int for the tile position and value being tile data, initializing before making a getter method for our new fog map. Scrolling down, we're now going to introduce four methods. Update fog map. This method is pretty straightforward. It takes in the player's field of view. It proceeds to use a for each cycling each position in visible tiles setting a tiles is explored boolean to true using an if statement with a condition checking if it hasn't been explored. 
It then sets the is visible boolean to false before setting the position of that tile on the fog map to technically gray due to reducing its alpha in half. It then clears the visible tiles list before using another for each that cycles through the player's field of view, set the tiles is visible booleans to true, their color to clear and add it to the visible tiles list. The set entities visibilities method uses a for each that cycles through the game manager's entities list skipping the player to convert each entity's vector 3 transform position to a vector 3 int. It then uses that vector 3 int to see if it matches any of the visible tiles positions. If it does, then that entity's sprite renderer component is enabled, else it will be disabled. The last two methods are just helper methods. Add tile map to dictionary takes in our tile maps to add entries to our tiles dictionary and set up fog map adds a tile to each position using the tiles dictionary's keys with our methods created add three calls to our start method after our proc gen call to add tile map to dictionary for our floor and obstacle tiles and one calling our set up fog map method now head over to our entity class and give it three new variables. The first explains itself, the second is our list containing the tile positions the entity can see, and the third is used to create an instance of add the mill visibility. In our start method, we're going to change how we add our entity to our game manager entities list. Before adding, What's happening is that we are initializing field of view, creating an instance of add the mill visibility, and then calling update field of view, a public method that gets the vector 3 int grid position of the entity and clears its field of view list before calling the compute method in Adam Muir's visibility algorithm. If you want to know exactly what is happening, you can check out the class's comments or check the link in the description referencing Adam Mill if you decide to delve further. The update field of view method then uses an if statement to check whether the entity's game object has a player script attached. If it does, a call to map manager's update fog map is made, passing in the entity's field of view before calling set entities visibility. Make sure that systems.collections.generic is imported and move over to action class. Add entity.update field of view to our movement action. Save and open the Unity editor. Duplicate our obstacle map. Rename it to fog map. And give it a new sorting layer of fog. Going into our map manager and setting our fog tile and fog map. Then go into the resources folder, click NPC, and disable its sprite renderer component. Now press play. Thanks for watching. Be sure to comment if you have any questions and like and subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you in the next one.